Okay, so today we head up to Lake of the Ozarks Bike Fest. Never been there. Let's see what they've got on today's Greybeard Biker. said in my YouTube live update that I did from the road. I am going to organize this video a little differently than I do uh, most other ones. You know, most people watch these videos for any number of reasons. One is, can they find themselves or their bike? If you do find yourself on your bike, please comment below and let us know. Another reason is because they've never been to whatever the rally is and they want to see what it's like. Or maybe they've been to it, but it's been several years ago and they want to see what it's like now. Then, of course, there's, you know, product videos. Some people are just looking for things to do because I do more uh, videos than just rallies, right? And some people are just looking for, hey, I'm going to X rally place. What's the best barbecue place there? Because I do barbecue reviews at most rally spots that I go to. And then there's some of you that just like to look at pretty girls. I know you. I've seen what you like to watch. But anyway, <laughs> I'm going to organize this video by location. So the reason why I'm going to do that is because we had to go to some locations more than once. And I'll explain why that is in the video series as we go through it. Uh, so what that means is if you're looking for yourself and you went to, you know, uh, Lake of the Ozarks, Harley Davidson, that's the part you want to look. No matter what day you went, you want to look at the location in the video. So that being said, today, let's start with the ride to Missouri. So we are on our way to Lake of the Ozarks Bike Fest. It is bright and early on Wednesday morning. Today is the first day of the event. And we're going to go about eight hours and then stop for the night. And then we will continue the other five or six hours, however far it is, after that. But where we're stopping today is for a very specific reason. So we're going from Atlanta to Scott City, Missouri. And we have to be in Scott City, Missouri before 6 o'clock. Because the whole reason we're going to Scott City, Missouri is because of this. This is a chip from Lawless Harley Davidson. So, Lawless Harley Davidson sent my wife this chip. Now, here's the situation. We went to, as you know, we went to the 120th anniversary Harley Homecoming Festival. And my wife was trying to get a shirt there, and she couldn't. They were all picked over, didn't have her size, that sort of thing. So she was searching online once we got home to find one. Uh, and she found one in some random Harley Davidson um, on the internet, which was Scottsdale, Missouri, Lawless Harley Davidson. So they sent her the shirt, and with the package, they sent a handwritten note, which she really appreciated, and a chip. Now, the rule with the chip for me is I cannot keep the chip unless I've driven to the dealership. So, and did, driven on the bike, not in the car. So, what we are doing is we are going to drive uh, and stop by Lawless Harley Davidson. We're going to drive to our hotel where we're going to spend the night. Then we're going to uh, get the bike, travel to Lawless so that we can earn this chip. Does anybody else have these rules they give themselves? So that's our story for today and what we're doing. I'll see you again once we get there. All right, let's back up for a minute. The day didn't actually start here. It started with a flat tire. So we wanted to change the tire before heading out 
to Missouri, but no major retailer had my tire size in stock. So I stopped by this little place and bingo, they had two slightly used, but it'll work. Have any of you bought used tires before? What they do is they go to junkyards and salvage perfectly good tires at a discount and then pass that savings on to you. The car could have been in a wreck pulling off the lot and you get a practically new tire for less. But be careful. Watch for dry rot, holes, that sort of thing. It's a good deal, but buyer beware. And the tire wasn't the only setback. Looking back at the bike as we're driving up, my wife asked if the mirrors are swinging. So I stopped and yep, the acorn nut had vibrated off. So I stopped, took it off, and then had to make an unscheduled stop at Appleton Harley Davidson to get a new one. Okay. <laughs> I need a, uh, a nut. I'm, the nut can vibrate it off of here. Then we stumbled across Metropolis. Yes, like where Superman is from. This is Metropolis, Illinois, and it is Superman themed. Pretty cool little town.
So we rented an Airbnb so that we could cut over to Lawless Harley Davidson and earn that chip. Here's the Airbnb. It's a nice place. I chose this place because of its location. And if you remember my Maggie Valley uh, hotel review that I did, this place had a hot tub. However, the hot tub wasn't working correctly. Half the jets didn't come on. So less than optimal experience there. But the place itself was great. One bedroom, pool table, log cabin, back deck. My only issues, the hot tub needed maintenance, which I hope they get to before someone else rents it. And the coffee they provided, empty. Now, they aren't obligated to provide coffee, but we were happy to see that it was there, followed by being disappointed that it was empty. So this is the, uh, the Airbnb that Super cute little log cabin in Cape Girardeau, Missouri. You can go to the front door. Super cute. It's super super cute. And you're immediately met with super cool um, pool table. Ouch. Then there's a stove. This high ceilings. And then there's a little bedroom. The kitchen. The bathroom. Washer dryer. This is such a cute little thing here. Um we go outside. So I think that's going to do it for part one of the series of Lake of the Ozarks Bike Fest. Be sure to like and subscribe, blah, blah, blah. Hit the notification bell to be notified when part two is uploaded. With it, we arrive at our hotel and head out to Bike Fest, starting with Lake of the Ozarks, Harley Davidson, bikini bike wash, and all. So until then... Stay free and keep it shiny side up. Mm -hmm.